they're all in. And they're off. A £35,000 bet, 365 European free handicap. This listed race for the three rods over seven furlongs. A naval crown is the first one to begin in the journey, showing the way from Percy's Lad, racing in second, the dark blue to the insiders, Ontario. Another one length away, Ron Scimitar, followed by Tactical, the back to our legal attack, and Dark Lion. It's Naval Crown. It continues out in front as they run towards the final four and a half. From racing there in second, Percy's Lad, Ontario, placed handily on the inside in third. Ross Simitar is next and is sharing out fourth with Tactical. The back two remain Legal Attack and Dark Lion. They make the way through halfway and still out with the lead. Then Naval Crown shows by a length to Percy's Lad in second. Ontario nudged along in third. Ross Simitar is in fourth. Then Tactical followed closely by Legal Attack and the back marker the ridden along Dark Lion as Naval Crown continued to control the gallop by two lengths. So Ontario angled out now to challenge in second. Percy's Lad and Royal Scimitar, the next two. Tactical trying to begin a run as well. But it's still Naval Crown who has the lead inside the final furlong. Tactical trying to make some ground up the inside. Ontario a little wider. Naval Crown now about to be joined by Tactical up the inside. Tactical and Naval Crown to the line. Tactical to the inside has won the free handicap. Tactical from Naval Crown in second. Then Ontario clear from next in the field. Legal attack and then Royal Scimitar and Percy's Lad. Ashley Murphy's just won the European free handicap on board tactical for Andrew Balding in the colours of Her Majesty the Queen and hopefully that's a, uh, a little bit of joy for Her Majesty given the sad events of recent days. Uh, Ushin, congratulations. Tell me about how the, the passage through the race that, that you had with the horse. Yeah, firstly Lydia, I suppose, thoughts with Her Majesty the Queen and all of the royal family at the moment. Uh, this horse, he jumps quickly but I was, uh, I had in the back of my mind not to ask him out particularly at seven furlongs, first run of the year, being quite fresh. And as a result, I kind of landed in behind uh, a few horses, namely Ryan Moore. Uh, and when that happened down the fence, I was always going to be a hostage to fortune. At, I suppose after the three, I tried to come out uh, left around Adam Kirby's heels and Adam was well entitled to keep me in, which he did, and I had to switch back in. And it's rare you can make an error like that and still win. So, uh, yeah, thanks to Tactical for getting me out of trouble. Yeah, I thought that was a pretty good start to his season, bearing in mind that things rather plateaued at the end of last season for him. That's a bright start. He's clearly very tough, and uh, as you can see, he's a ball of muscle. He's trained quite well, but at the same time, he hasn't been away or uh, he hasn't been off the bridle. So hopefully he'll step up from this run. And do you think that sort of edges him more towards a sort of Jersey route rather than maybe a Commonwealth Cup route as a result of that? I'd be very sure, although I haven't spoke to Andrew or, or John Warren, uh, that you would be happy to stay at seven. Right. Uh, and if he was to run in a guineas even, he wouldn't uh, run badly. I'm not sure even if he has an entry he at this hasn't. stage. So... Uh, all roads seem to point to the jersey. I suppose they could go around a bend for the um, Poulain, uh, the French Guineas. Perhaps, yeah, and, and often that's an easier event. Uh, I'm not sure uh, I should be saying that, but uh, you know, often we would we would say it takes a higher figure to win here at Newmarket than in France. Yeah, absolutely. And OK, well, that's a, that's a great start. So it'll be interesting to see how he picks uh, through the rest of the season with tactical. Uh, Royal Air Force, who you're riding tomorrow in the Craven, what do you know about him? I don't know much about him. Uh, he won very impressively at Yarmouth, small field, but he scooted away. Uh, he hasn't run in a long time. I haven't spoken to Simon or Ed, uh, but uh, it looks a competitive race, albeit on his first run, he certainly belongs to be there. Yeah, okay, well, thank you very much for your thoughts. Best of luck tomorrow. See you soon, Ashin. Thank you.